Hello, my name is Mike Burnett. I am the North American Sales Manager for Prairie Fire Software. Prairie Fire Software is an organization that has developed uh, a Microsoft link-based call center platform and have been in the call center marketplace for approximately 13 years. We have a ton of experience and have deployed over uh, 8,000 different call center environments in over 80 countries to date. So we have a tremendous amount of experience and based on experience we want to develop a Microsoft based solution that can be partnered with Microsoft Link to provide the same type of capability on top of Microsoft Link that we've done on Mytel's telephony platform. So what I'm going to be demonstrating today is I'm going to walk you through a five minute demonstration at a very high level of what the agent experience is like, what the supervisor or manager's experience is like, and what the administrator's experience is like. So I'm going to walk you through uh, a series of PowerPoint presentations and live demonstration videos to give you guys a good perspective on what this application looks like and how the application uh, competes in the marketplace. So our application today, uh, we've gone ahead and, and developed uh, a, a solution that goes ahead and functions on top of Microsoft Link. It's seamlessly integrated in the Link, provides a, an enhanced presence and availability capability on top of Link, and can also provide um, advanced functions uh, for agents, supervisors, managers, and administrators in the contact center. This application uh, runs on top of Microsoft um, Windows operating systems. Uh, we're using Microsoft Server 2008 R2 to host this application currently. Uh, this application um, it is all developed around Microsoft Link and provides a, an office look and feel. So you'll see that as we go through the, today's demonstration. It's built natively on top of Microsoft Link. It's utilizing Microsoft Exchange, Active Directory, uh, and Microsoft SQL as a database application under the hood. So what we're going to be covering off in today's presentation, if I just get out of the PowerPoint and dive right into the live demonstration, is we're going to be going ahead and spending a couple of minutes looking at Microsoft Link and our Ignite Agent Desktop on top of Link. So we've developed an application that inherently in, embeds ACD presence capability inside Link from a queue perspective and also from an agent's perspective. Um, you'll be able to go ahead as an agent within the Ignite toolbar and provide the login and logout and skill set concept or group presence capabilities within the application. We have a dashboard that you can include within the application for agents to see other agents, other queues, and the presence and availability and status of those different departments. Within the Ignite client, an agent will be able to go on make busy or do not disturb and set up a specific reason code. Agents will also have the ability while they are in a call, which I'm going to put a call into the queue right now, they will have the ability to go ahead and see a conversation window pop up. They'll be able to see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen an inbound screen pop showing me the inbound call line ID and then the queue that the call is being offered from. Once they go ahead and accept to answer that conversation, the link conversation window will pop up and show them uh, all of the inherent Microsoft link features that uh, a normal conversation is used to uh, and the ability to go ahead and transfer a conference um, and go ahead and pull in additional resources into this conversation. You'll also notice on the Ignite toolbar, while you're in a conversation, there's a request for help option that will allow the agent to go ahead and actually pull a supervisor into this conversation to help them resolve the issue or, or escalate the contact. Once the conversation is completed, the actual Prairie Fire application provides a work timer concept. So the agent can go ahead and have a subset time per queue so they can go ahead and have a grace period in between each ACD call within the system. The agents do have the ability to cancel that work timer and get back, get right back into the ACD queue. So that's what it looks like from an ACD agent's perspective. Now moving forward, we're going to cover off some of the historical reporting capabilities that we've built on for a supervisor or manager within the system. The supervisor or manager will have the ability to navigate Internet Explorer and generate over 100 different canned Excel-based reports broken down in different logical categories looking at your agent queue statistics, or even having the ability to create an inherent schedule to completely automate the reporting process within the application. A supervisor or manager will have the ability to look at the report inbox for today, and they'll be able to walk through a four-step on-demand report process that will allow them to go ahead and select the type of report, select the team, department, group, or agent they want to report on, select the date and time horizon for the report. Each report can be generated broken down by day, week, um, year, multi-year concepts. You can even break report down by hour if you want to. 
so you have some flexibility when you're actually creating these reports. And, and the fourth step of the reporting process is the ability to share this information with other users within the business. You'd be able to take this uh, as an Excel attached report and distribute it out to a uh, team of uh, email contacts or to an individual email contact on the fly and also include a formatted uh, charted graph uh, when printing or, or emailing these reports. So that's the reporting process. Again, there's uh, a bunch of other reports that we're going to talk about, but those are more factored into the real-time environment. So the real-time environment is an application called the Contact Center Client. The Contact Center Client application will allow a supervisor and manager to go ahead and have complete control of the call center, have the ability to see presence and availability inherently built in with link within the Contact Center Client application, have the ability to manipulate the call center and change the call center, change the skills, change the uh, agents that are logged into each skill group. So what you're going to have is you have the ability to launch as a supervisor 13 different real-time monitors allowing you to go ahead and, and see different uh, key performance indicators that would be important to most call center supervisors running a, a basic voice ACD system. So the application today can support 50 ACD queues to be set up and can scale from zero agents all the way up to 200 seats. So that's what we've done for, for basic validation testing to this point. So the first monitor that I'm going to bring up um, is actually a profile monitor that I've created. So I'm going to open up my profile by selecting my mic demo profile. And in here, I'll be able to go ahead and see a whole bunch of different real-time displays that I've created that I don't have to create on demand that will automatically pop up for me. So in here, you're seeing a couple of different ways that a supervisor or manager can view data um, and view call center information that would be relevant to the way that they need to manage the business. You can have scrolling marquee messages. You can have presence and availability dashboards. You can also see the queues and, and what the queues are actually doing. And as a supervisor, you'll have complete control over uh, sending an instant message right from here or, or all of your link functions to going ahead and silent monitoring a conversation to logging an agent in or changing their group status on the fly. So you have a ton of flexibility within the application that way. We've also created an alarming concept. So within the system, each supervisor or manager can set up their own threshold variable alerts that can be visually alerted, audibly alerted, or you can even have this application shoot out an email to alert you via your smartphone that there's an issue happening within the call center and you need to go ahead and address it. Within the application, not only can we look at real-time data, but we have the ability within our tools function to go into the forecasting utility. The forecast application will allow a supervisor or manager to go ahead and answer three intelligent questions. How many people did I have staffed? How many people should I have had staffed? And how many people am I going to need to staff in the call center to go ahead and, and meet an effective uh, service level goal for my company? So those are some of the different examples of the real-time application that a supervisor, manager, or administrator can gain access to. You can also take this application and actually publish it up to a 60-inch plasma or LCD-based TV to go ahead and display this information to everybody looking up on the board uh, within the call center environment. So within the application, the last thing that I'm going to be demonstrating is our Your Site Explorer. And this application will, uh, is completely integrated with an Active Directory. So when you're adding a new agent, as long as they're living in the Active Directory already under your Users tab, you can grab that agent and go ahead and synchronize with the information that you have created in Active Directory right into our call center system. So, or you can go ahead and, and manually create those new agents, do the agent group or skill set association, create your queues, queue announcements where we can set up recorded announcement devices, or within the queue announcement option, we also have the ability to go ahead and set expected wait time messaging, uh, and have the ability to go ahead within the queue announcements function to go ahead and, and set up welcome, close queue greetings, and just basic recorded announcements. Um, to be played to the customers to set expectation within that ACD environment. We can go ahead and incorporate music on hold playlists. So there's a whole bunch of additional features that we've included within this ACD package to allow you to route, real-time monitor, historically report, and forecast on your, uh, your Microsoft link-based ACD environment. So the last thing that we're going to touch on is we're just going to minimize out of this application and we're going to go back to the PowerPoint and talk about the network topologies. This application can be supported in a lot of different ways. So the first topology that we support is a single link front end and a single pool. Uh, so this application 
uh, can, can support an enterprise class way of deployment, whether it's multiple pools, multiple front ends, so we can talk about those. And this application has uh, interoperability with a lot of different third-party vendors today, including Plantronics, Polycom, for their CX series phones. We've done integrations and interoperability with uh, audio codes, Net, for their gateway products, and also uh, for the audio codes smart tap application, their call recording system. So that's uh, a basic breakdown on the Prairie Fire software call center application for Microsoft Link. For information further to today's presentation, uh, please contact our sales department, sales at prairiefire.com, or just dial 1-855-223-3973. Thank you for taking the time to view today's presentation. My name is Michael Burnett. Have a great day.